Why does my AC not cool better? Hey guys, I had this question recently with our new HVAC guide and they were basically asking, why doesn't my AC cool better or faster than it currently does? I'm gonna go through a couple of things in this video for you to know and think about, but at the end, we're gonna go through a couple of things that you can do to make your system operate better or more efficiently. First thing I wanna go through is how residential systems work because they do not operate like some systems say, like your car, for example. So like your car, you can turn it all the way up and it will blow cold, or you can kind of back it back down and it not blow quite so cold depending on how you feel in the car. But with a heating and air system, instead of having that operation where you're adjusting the temperature, your system is going to run at however it's going to run when you set that temperature. So if you set it at say 72, your typical residential heating and air systems at best are gonna run somewhere around what we call a 20 degree difference or a 20 degree delta T, meaning it's gonna go in the return at this temperature and then blow out at 20 degrees cooler. Now, why does that matter? Well, if it's really, really hot in your house, if it's gotten above 80 degrees, sometimes above 85 degrees, at best, it's gonna blow out your vents at 60 or 65. The reason that's important to know is you might put your hand over the vent and be like, it's just barely cool. Got my hand over the vent. It's gonna feel cooler than what it is in the room if it's 85 degrees in your house. But you got your hand over the vent, you're like, I'm not getting as cool of air as I'm used to seeing when it's running well, when it's running at 72 in the house and blowing cool air into the house. So that's if your system is 100% clean, it's installed properly, set up properly. At best, most residential systems run at a 20 degree delta T or somewhere close to that. The second thing is if it's gotten super hot in your house, so if your AC went out or if you were gone and you've now got the AC turned on, but for whatever reason it's gotten super hot in there, just realize everything in your house holds heat. Your furniture, your walls, your appliances, you and your animals, all of that holds heat. It's gonna blow the cooler air out, but it's gotta get all that heat removed from the house. It's not just gonna be dumping cool air in there, it's gotta remove all that heat as it does it. Now, you might say, Josh, I came across this video because all that sounds fine, or it seems like it's running longer now than it used to. So to keep the house comfortable, it's just running a whole lot longer than it used to and it's less efficient. My electric bills seem to be higher. Well, the first thing I'll say is, when was the last time you had a proper tune-up done? And what do I mean by that is proper tune-up. I don't mean where somebody comes out and does a checkup. I mean, actually gets in there, they clean the coils, they make the system as new as they can again, and they check the refrigerant levels, making sure everything is just running at absolute tip-top shape, at least best as possible. So that's where I would start, especially if you have not had one done in the last year. The second thing I'll say is there are products on the market that will make your system run better, especially if it used to run really well and now it's not quite as good as it used to be. There are products that you can add to the system. Now, little disclaimer, you don't wanna add these products to a system that's still under warranty because it could void the warranty. But there are products out there like Boost Juice would be one we did a video on, and then years ago I did a video on AC Renew. So products like that where you can add it to the system, it will make the compressor run quieter, but more efficient, run better. Maybe that'll help you get better performance out of your system. So last thing I'll wrap up with is ways that you can stay more comfy is realize that it's not just about the temperature in there. There's also humidity that could be contributing to it not being as comfortable in there. So you might say, well, this system's just not running as well. You can do things like, like I said, maintenance. You can also adjust the airflow to help that system dehumidify. I can tell you in Virginia, we have to sometimes add dehumidifiers to help that air conditioning system remove that humidity. The point being 72 degrees in this house may not be equal to 72 degrees in that house. The humidity is high or low. It can cause you to feel warmer or cooler based on just the humidity, not just the temperature. Another thing that we see, at least here in Virginia, is wherever the system is located could be causing it. We have a lot of systems located in attics or package systems that are located outside and sometimes keeping that in mind. So if you have a system in the attic, making sure you have some sort of ventilation in that attic, it's literally sitting in an oven. That system might be doing all it can 
and maybe you had an attic fan go bad or you don't have an attic fan at all. You should probably get one if you don't. They have some these days. This isn't even something that we install at Griffin Air, but they have solar powered attic fans that will run off the sun. It doesn't even cut into your electric bill and you're being able to remove that heat from the house. Heat rises, it's made it to your attic, Let's get that out of there and make that heating and air system run as efficiently as possible. So even if your system's not located in the attic, instead of having this oven or sweat box located on the top of your house, let's get that taken care of. Obviously, in some cases, we've talked about in other videos where conditioned attics are becoming a thing where they are actually insulating the rafters of the attic instead of the ceiling between the top floor and the attic itself. And then the last thing is they do make a product that can mist the heating and air systems. I'll put a link to a lot of these products we've talked about down in the notes, including a heating and air system mister. Now I will say that we don't really see these in markets where there are heat pumps or colder weather, but I have seen where these are used in really hot climates. These guys will install these misters where it can mist the coil, allowing that coil to operate at a much higher capacity. When you're cooling that coil like that, you're basically turning it into almost the same technology that a cooling tower would have on a commercial building because you've got these wet coils now and you're lowering that head pressure on the system, allowing that system to just operate even better. So I wouldn't install any of these products without checking with your local pro, get their opinion. I would defer every time to their opinions because here I am sitting in little old Virginia and you're taking my advice. I'm not saying these products that I'm recommending is good in all situations. That said, I hope it helps. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.